A meter-coupled logic or ECL circuit technology is based on using differential amplifiers in the current steering mode. Modern ECL components are the fastest among the silicon-based semiconductor components. ECL components have path delays of approximately 1 nanosecond. The circuit of a typical logical ECL component consists of a current switch, a reference displacement source and output emitter followers. The voltage at an open base emitter junction of a silicon transistor is a constant perimeter equal to 0.8 volts. When describing operation of ECL elements, negative logic agreement is used. The value of the logical zero is indicated by the high voltage level minus 0.9 volts. And the value of the logical one is indicated by the low voltage level minus 1.7 volts. The amplitude of the logical signal is 0.8 volts. Let's take a look at this schematic. If voltage of minus 0.9 volts corresponding to the logical zero is applied to at least one of the inputs, the given transistor is opened. The current is switched to this transistor, creating a voltage drop of minus 0.9 volts at resistor R1. At the same time, reference transistor VT3 is closed. The voltage drop at resistor R2 is minus 0.1 volts. If the levels of the logical 1 are applied to all inputs, transistors VT1 and VT2 are closed and transistor VT3 is open. The current is switched to the latter. In this case, the voltage drop at resistor R1 equals minus 0.1 volts and minus 0.9 volts at resistor R2. Emitter followers on transistors VT5 and VT6 displace the levels of the signals coming in at their bases by 0.8 volts towards negative signals and up to the values corresponding to the levels of the logical 0 and the logical 1. In a negative logic, an ECL component realizes the A and D function at the true output. The AND node function is realized at the com complementary output. The ECL technology has the following peculiarities. It is possible to unite outputs of several components to create new functions. possible to work with low resistance load due to the emitter followers. The consumed power does not depend on the frequency of switching. The dynamic parameters are very stable in case the temperature of power supply voltage change. An active power supply and transistor collector circuit earthen is used. This decreases the output signal's dependence on the interferences in the power supply buses. The disadvantages of ECL components include complexity of circuits, considerable power consumption, and difficulties in matching with TTL and STTL microcircuits.